Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at creating a very, very simple click-through gallery. I mean, it's going to take you moments to create once you've created a couple of them. It's not even going to take me that long to explain to you how to do it. There's more prep work than there is actually coding and you can use as many images as you want. So it's a very, very cool, very simple image gallery. And here it is in Flash. I'm going to show you this is all it does. I'm going to uh, preview the movie, and basically when you click an image, it just brings the next one up and sends the one you click to the back. And I've got four images here, I can click through them. Now, if you click one that's not in the front now, like I'm going to click on this big blue one back here, it's going to send that one to the back. So you can almost restack the images. Let's say I want the blue one right in front of the stalks. Well, there we have it. So it's a cool little fun gallery, kind of neat, and uh, very, very simple to do. So here is how I created this little gallery. We're going to go File new and we're going to create a new flash action script 3 file we're working in flash cs4 however you can follow along in flash cs3 anything older than that this just isn't going to work for you because you don't have action script 3.0 so we're going to hit ok and the first thing i want to do is over here in the properties panel i want to change the document size to 750 by 500 and give it a background color of a very dark gray hit ok and here is our new much larger document now I'm going to uh, save this file. So I'm going to save it right here. I'm just going to name it Simp, um, oh, Simple Gallery Rect, Rect standing for recorded. Uh, so this is our file. The next thing we want to do is grab the images that are going to go into this file. Here I have Adobe Bridge, the Adobe Bridge. I'm going to grab these four images right here and I'm just going to drag them right into my Flash document and uh, typically it takes Flash yeah, a second to load them up and all I want to do here with these images is select each one of them and go ahead and convert it to a symbol so I'm selecting the first image F8 to convert it to a movie clip symbol registration doesn't really matter I'm going to name it MC1 and then I'm going to delete it I'm going to grab the next one F8 hit MC2 that's going to be the name MC2 okay and delete that one select the next image F8 MC3 and uh, junk that one. Select the last guy, F8, MC4 is his name, OK, and delete him. All right, great. Now that we've done that, look, we are ready to go ahead and open up our main timeline. And what I'm going to do here is name my first layer Gallery, and I'm going to name my second layer AS for Action Script. Here on the Gallery layer, I want to grab my Rectangle tool, and I have no stroke. I only have a fill. I'm using a bright green fill. You can use whatever color fill you want. We're just going to be using this as a mask. So I'm just going to draw out a nice large rectangle, select the rectangle, I'm going to set the X and Y over here in the properties panel, set the X and Y to zero. That's going to wedge that right up in that top left corner. Set the width and height to the width and height of our document, which in this case are 750 by 500. Very nice. Now that we've done that, we want to convert this rectangle to a movie clip. So hit F8 and we're going to name this guy MC Master. Hit OK. I'm going to double click on this and now I'm inside of MC Master. You can see up here we're inside of MC Master. Double click to open up our timeline again and I'm going to name this layer Mask. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to name it Images. And what I'm going to do is double click here on my library panel or you can just go Window Library to open up your library. Grab the images but grab the movie clip version not the JPEG file. So MC1 through 4 just holding down shift, I selected the first one, then selected the last, drag them right out. They're all going to stack themselves nicely on stage, and notice they're on the images layer. Now what I want to do is, before I do anything, lock up the mask layer, because I don't want to accidentally select it and move it around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my first image here, hit the Q key. The Q key is the hotkey for the free transform tool. Well, we want to make sure we deselect everything. There we go. Select the first image, and I'm just going to give it a slight rotation. I'm going to select the image right behind it there, rotate that guy up like that. And I'm going to, this image I actually want to be in the front, this stalks image, which is behind these two other images. So I'm going to go modify. There we go, modify, uh, arrange, bring to front. There we go. And I'm going to rotate this guy like so, sort of exaggerated. And then this larger image in the back, which I'm also going to bring up, control shift up arrow key is the hot key for that. And I'm going to tilt this guy exaggerated to the left. All right, so now that we've done that with all of these, we're going to drag the mask layer here on top of the images layer. Right click on the mask layer, and I'm moving off screen, so let me bring this guy way up. Right click on that mask layer and choose mask. Bring this back down. You can see our images are now constrained to only the area of our stage. This is going to be very nice because now if we use it on the web, we don't have to worry about the images overflowing. Now, just a quick note, 
if you are you know using more than four images that's fine but when you when we initially start this file you want to make sure that you convert all of them to these movie clips okay so that's really the only prep work you have to do we're gonna have a few lines of code we need to add but before we do that let's select this uh, giant master movie clip we created and we want to give it an instance name up here on the properties panel we have a space for an instance name name it master underscore MC great now that we've done that we're ready to start scripting right here on the AS layer select that first keyframe and go window actions I'm gonna move this guy back on screen so you can see everything I'm doing and actually I forgot to before I started recording make the text size a little larger so I'll show you how how you can make your script size a little larger click the little flyout menu there go preferences and here in the preferences panel you have your font and just choose the size I typically go up to about a 20 size when I'm recording just a little behind the scenes stuff there alright so the scripting we need to do again four simple lines of code we're gonna start out with just a couple lines and then we're gonna add our last two lines uh, so the first thing we want to do is target that master underscore MC so master underscore MC dot add event listener we're gonna add an event listener to that movie clip. We are listening for a mouse whoop, mouse event. That's mouse with a capital M, event with a capital E, sandwiched together as one word. Dot mouse underscore down, and that's all caps, comma, and here's the name of our function that when somebody has their mouse down over master underscore MC, we want this function to be executed. The name of the function is clicked F. Close parenthesis, semicolon. We now need to create that function. So I hit enter return a couple times there, and I'm gonna type the word function. And uh, we're going to say uh, clicked F, open parenthesis, it is an event, colon, it is a mouse event, close parenthesis, colon, and the word void, open curly bracket, enter return twice, close curly bracket, up, arrow key. Now that we're within this function, we're just going to type a simple trace statement. We're just going to trace, uh, hey, you clicked. And I'm not even going to worry about correcting the capitalization. So I'm going to hit F9 to close the actions panel. Command return, control enter to test this movie. And when I click, hey, you clicked. Great. So now that we've done that, we're ready to go ahead. Well, actually, let me just point something out to you. When I roll over this, if you don't know this is a gallery you can click through, there's really no hint. There's no pulsing. You could add a little animation that makes this pulse if you like it. We're not going to get into that. All we want to do is make the mouse change when somebody moves over. So very, very simple to do with action script. Right here on line two, we're going to hit enter or return a couple times. And we're going to type a simple line of code. Master underscore MC dot button mode, that mode with a capital M space equals space true so basically we're saying hey this is a movie clip but go ahead and yes treat it like a button so when somebody rolls over it it's gonna give them the finger alright now that we've done that we want to hop inside of this function and type a new line of code this is one line of code again targeting master underscore MC so we're gonna say master underscore MC dot set child index open parenthesis and uh, here we're gonna say event dot target as movie clip and we're going to type movie with a capital M clip with a capital C and after that we're just going to type a comma and we're going to say num children okay minus one close parenthesis semicolon and basically what this is going to do is it's going to set the depth of the children according to the number of children within that master movie clip whenever somebody clicks on uh, this movie clip being the master movie clip so we're going to hit F9 and we're going to test this out. Control enter, command return on the Mac. You can see we've got the finger. When I click, it just sends whatever image that I'm clicking right to the back. So let's say I, uh, just for the sake of argument, I don't want this stock image coming right after the other image. All right, this image. I can just click on that stock image, which is the tip of it sticking out right here, and it's going to send that right to the back. So when I click this, my next image is now the buffalo. All right, very cool. Just a quick, super simple gallery. I mean, it takes less than 10 minutes to set up. I mean, I don't even think it took me 10 minutes to explain to you how to do it. So really, really easy to do, very cool. And again, you can have more than four images. You can have 100 images if you want. You just wanna make sure you convert each and every one of them to a movie clip that can be stuck within that master movie clip. You don't have to give them each instance names. You just need to place them as movie clips within that master movie clip. And there you have it. That is a very simple click-through gallery that you can create using Flash CS4 and ActionScript 3.0. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a thing or two. And uh, please go check out the site. That's www.tutvid.com. Thank you for watching.